Mr. Wallace, the mm -hmm. last time that we sat in this office, I asked you if you would ever consider retiring, and you said when your toes curl up. Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. Your toes look Turn fine. up, not crawl up. Turn up. Yeah. Curl up. <coughs> okay. yeah. So you cr your toes look fine. <laughs> what happened? Well, I, you know something? I'm retiring, sort of. In other words, I'm retiring, but I'm not going to be doing as much work, but I'm not turning my back on work. Uh, it must be bittersweet for you. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what is this, what is this like for you, to sort of leaving the full-time basis? Uh, it's, it's time. I'm 88. Obviously, here, here, various places. It's time to go. If you can't do it, you know, you can't, you don't want to get on airplanes as much anymore. You don't want to do but I'm going to sit here and watch everybody else buzz around and uh, maybe, maybe even uh, give them some advice from time to time, if anybody cares. How would you sum up your time here at 60 Minutes? I don't know that that's even possible to do in a sentence. But, uh... There's never been a better job for a reporter. You know that. Hmm. I mean, you can go any place in the world and talk, talk to just about anybody about anything. You have enough time to put it on the air. Uh, enough time to edit it and so forth, and and uh, and it's an important it's an important job. And what I mean by that is that we finally it took us a little time to find our way, but investigations, sensible stuff, fair, accurate. It's a it's a good job instead of the three networks plus PBS, now there are 300 channels, and it frequently becomes the race to the bottom instead of the race to the top. A lot of talk of infotainment, a lot of tabloid. It's, it's just not what it used to be. Do you have a favorite story or one that sort of comes to mind over, over, over the course of your the, career? The, 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 the story, the, you know, favorite story, I cannot think of any story I have had a better time doing than Vladimir Horowitz, the, the pianist. I mean, he, he had never done anything like that before. And I'm an old fiddle player, so I was awed by the opportunity to talk to him. And he just, I mean, it was a, it was a joy. This, incidentally, is on the special that's on Sunday. It was a joy to talk to this extraordinary man. The other stuff is, uh, look, the opportunity to talk to the Ayatollah Khomeini after the hostages were taken, that's bound to be a uh, interesting, faint, wonderful story. Uh, talking to certain mobsters down the years, um, profiles of all kinds of interesting people. If you care enough about the person you're talking to, to really do the homework, then all of a sudden, and if the, t the time comes when the lights and the camera and so forth, in effect, disappear, and you're just talking to two people, talking. You get the best stuff. You do. I'm Mike Wallace. Those stories and couples news coming up on Extra.